everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today we are going to be using some carrots yes 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 I am going to show you how you can use a carrot two ways I'm going to show you how to make a carrot scrub and I'm going to show you how to make a carrot facial mask pretty easy but it's not only about how to make these things is the fact that carrot is great for your skin carrot contains vitamin A and vitamin A is a form of a retinol and retinol will help to plump the skin up boost the collagen production in the skin not only that carrot will help to hydrate the skin when mixed with these other awesome ingredients so if you're looking to have fresher skin younger looking skin boots the collagen production and plump your skin up this video is for you so continue watching first thing we're gonna do we are gonna make the facial scrub and you're gonna need a blender for this recipe now let's get a medium carrot and chop it in small pieces for easier blending once you finish chopping the carrots we are gonna blend add the carrot to the blender and do not add water just blend and here is the blended carrot now let's move on to our next ingredient which is the brown sugar and take a look at these granules they are a little large but that is okay they are gonna melt once you mixed it with the other ingredient and our final ingredient for the scrub is some coconut oil very hydrating very moisturizing and also a great ingredient to lock the moisture in the skin so to begin, we are going to put our scrub together and I'm going to use one tablespoon of the brown sugar. If you want to make more, double up on the ingredient. This is just for one facial. I'm using one tablespoon of the carrot, the blended carrot that is, and then we're moving on to our coconut oil. One teaspoon of the coconut oil. You can choose to use any of your favorite oil in this. Olive oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil. Just use up what you have. And now we are going to blend this together, mixed well. Guys, you can also choose to use some rice for this recipe if you do not want to use the brown sugar. You can even use some baking soda, blend with the carrot and the coconut oil. Carrot is really an amazing ingredient to mix with other ingredients to create your homemade facial scrub. Now once this is ready, you are going to rinse your skin, pat dry the skin, and then you are going to apply your facial scrub. So apply it in circular motion on your face, your neck, and your decollete. And once you're done, you're going to rinse with some warm water. You can choose to use this facial scrub two to three times per week for best result and this can be stored in your refrigerator for up to seven days I suggest that you leave the sugar out and just mix it together when you're ready to use since you don't want the sugar to melt guys definitely try your carrot facial scrub now we're gonna move on to the next facial which is the facial mask using carrots now take a look at the ingredient our first ingredient is milk and this is a fresh milk now if you do not have milk for this recipe you can go ahead and you can use some yogurt if you are vegan don't shy away from using some almond milk our second ingredient is aloe vera gel and I'm using fresh aloe for this if you do not have fresh aloe vera gel you can choose to use the store-bought aloe vera gel now to extract the gel from the olive leaf you got to do a little bit of a work so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut off the side basically like I'm peeling the aloe vera leaf and this way it's easy to act, extract the gel so I'm just sliding the knife right under the top and slide it under the bottom go very easy with it and I take a look at what I have here here I have some fresh aloe vera gel once you extract the gel you could store it in your refrigerator for about seven days or so 
add the jug to the blender and blend. And take a look at the fresh blended aloe vera gel. Look how frothy this is. When the aloe vera is fresh, guys, this is what it's going to look like. If you blend it and it's like really watery, that's a sign that the aloe leaf is not fresh at all. All right, so now let's put this facial mask together. Now to make our carrot mask, I'm going to use two tablespoons of the blended carrot. You can choose to double up on the ingredient. I'm using one tablespoon of the fresh milk. And then I'm going to mix well. This you could choose to put back in the blender and blend so that you could get everything from the carrot. Now after mixing, Guess what guys what we're gonna use from this is just the juice if you take a look at the carrot you could see that it have a bit of a trash in it and we really do not want this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna strain so just extract the juice from the carrot and like I said earlier you could choose to blend this and then strain get every last drop out and now take a look at what we have here we have two tablespoons of carrot juice and milk next we're reaching for our aloe vera gel and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel 15 ml pour this in and then I'm gonna blend yogurt will make this carrot mask awesome guys so you can use the yogurt or you can even choose to use some avocado with this blend so I'm going to use half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil you can also choose to use some rosehip oil in this or even some cacao oil and mixed well and here we have our carrot facial mask now there are two ways to use this facial mask you can apply it to the skin with a cotton pad so you're gonna wash your face pat dry the skin and then you're gonna apply the facial mask to your skin just rub it on your skin in circular motion like I'm showing here don't forget your neck and your decollete after you apply it to your skin you are gonna leave it for about 30 minutes or more and let the mask dry on the skin and then you are gonna rinse off with some warm water preferably pat dry the skin and apply your moisturizer now guys I take a look at what I have here and this is the ideal way to use this facial mask dip a facial mask a sheet in the solution soak it up and make sure it is completely soaked and then you're gonna open your facial mask and you're gonna place it over your face wear it for 30 to 40 to 50 to an hour on your face and after doing that you are gonna remove the facial mask from your skin you're gonna rinse off with some warm water now you can choose to use this facial mask two to three times per week for best result and you can store this in your refrigerator for up to seven days an amazing a facial mask and guys if you have a mask sheet I suggest that's the best way to use it however if you're short on time you can go ahead and use the cotton pad to apply it to your skin before you know it you will have glowing skin your skin will look so hydrated so clear so lifted so firm amazing give it a try guys and come back and comment on this video so there you have it, how you can use carrot two ways to boost the collagen production in your skin. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, but not only thumbs the video up, but give it a try and leave your comments. Those are always important. And if this was the first time watching, look below, you see the word subscribe, click on it so you don't miss another video. Also, at the end of this video, I recommend some other videos you might be interested in watching. Thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.